thanks for joining me again. This is just a large hike in clear water coming on to 15 by 11 Fabriano water colour paper. And I'm just going to go a bit of raw sienna, a little bit dirty but it doesn't matter. Just clean the brush and then a bit of ultramarine, a bit of Payne's grey. Oh, there's going to be a bit of water about there, so I'm just putting that reflection in from the sky. Uh, I think that's all I'll do for that. Maybe a bit of a few little white fluffy clouds up there in the sky somewhere. A bit down there. That'll do. There ain't going to be much uh, in terms of sky in this painting anyway. It's mainly, see, the horizon line is going to be right up here. Now, because of water already on the paper. I don't want this bit. I'm going to put in the distant land now. So I'm going to compensate for the water on the paper by taking it off the brush. So I'm just tapping it against the, wiping it against the tea towel. Fairly dry brush now. If we go back into those two colours, three colours rather, a bit of Payne's grey as well. I can start with the distant land right over on this side. A bit dark that is. I'm going to water that down slightly. See that? Let's just tone it down. I'm going to cross there. That's the distant land in. Now it's a bit stronger. Coming forward slightly, so a little bit stronger. And it's coming down something like that. In front of that there. And that's off. Up and down and up. Smoking through the colours. Slightly varying it, not so much. Right. And I'm just leveling that out, make sure it's parallel with the bottom of the paper. You don't want it sort of sloping one more or the other, it just doesn't look quite right. Anyway, that's enough of that. For that. That's all I'm going to do for the water. I'm going to leave that like that, it's just reflecting the sky colour. And then next what I'm going to do is somewhere up there and just sweep straight down, straight away across. Paper stretch slightly so I'm just going to pull it tight so it's flat against the paper, against the uh, plywood rather. For the first time introduce a bit of lemon yellow because we're coming forward now you can see a bit more grass a bit greener well, I'm going to clean the brush now try and get a bit more variation it's all looking very samey so let's go now just lemon yellow on its own it's a bit lighter a bit of raw sienna down there right. And we need some darker bits, darker bits of grass, ultramarine, lemon yellow, pines grey. It's like a little, a little ball or something over there. A few little, little trees there. Just, just a tiny little bit of flick with the finger, just suggest a trunk or something. Bit of ultramarine. And this is like a, some sort of fence or something going across here, like a stone wall thing. And we can suggest that even more by just bring that down about there. It's just very, very slight, bit of a 
few scrapes here and there, just suggest the little stones in the wall, not so much. I'm trying to keep it fairly subtle. Lemon yellow. What a dark green, really dark green. It's going to start somewhere like, like that. It's just following the path around. A bit of light red just to change it slightly. A bit of variation. But not too much red because it's such a strong strong colour it will soon dominate. Over down there, something like that. Cleaning the brush. Again take the excess off on the tea towel and then just go straight lemon yellow, pull that down. Bit of raw sienna as well. Bit of ultramarine maybe. Follow the path around there, we've got a path sweep around there. There's also switch to the uh, three quarter inch flat. We've got some little fence posts, so I'm just going into a uh, ultramarine burnt umber. Starting up there, and that's sort of To the rigger brush, just a little bit of join together. Now it's got this path in, and it's like a road that goes all the way down to the lock. So I'm going to go, just gonna, I'm just going to go light red, ultramarine. I don't want too much water, I'd prefer it if the paint broke a little bit as I was putting it in, just a quick sweep. It's not there now, it's just a quick sweep round the corner. It goes off there into the distance, that's all I'm going to do for the road. That's just, no it's not, I'm going to, I should have put a bit more in. I'm just going to, same again. Not too much water. And then in the middle of the path, again, clean the brush, turn the paint, the towel over, it's getting a bit wet. We've got a little bit of, a little bit of grass there in the middle of the road. And we've got a bit of grass on this side. There. Obviously you can probably put these in while it's still damp. We got a like a little tree over on this side. Something like that. It's getting a bit dark, it's not showing up very well. It needs to be stronger, get a bit of contrast. Make it dark out, ultramarine, lemon yellow, paint's grey, really, really strong. Just using the corner of the brush here, a bit of light red in there as well, just to mix it up a bit. That's just stopping about there. Got a big, big branches. Just paint over what you don't like. Some, some bricks or something. Pop 
มาสิแหน่ลองอ่ะล็อกสูงทิ้งแดงเราต้องใช้ใช้ไปเลยนี่นี่เราต้องใช้ลูกฟิกเกอร์Change the color in a little bit. Blue trousers. A couple of little birds in the sky. Same with the Riga brush. But not least, just pop your signature, your name in the corner, somewhere out the way down there. Let's see what it looks like with the uh, with the main sun. So here's what it looks like with the main sun. If we go in and have a closer look. See a very simple sky, just raw sienna, ultramarine, relay, bit of tissue, taking out a few little clouds here and there. Most distant bit of land put in, very very weak, weak wash. And then a little bit fractionally stronger as it comes this one in front of it. Little bits of subtle things going on there in the land. Just a hint of a stone wall edge, a little bit of scraping out with the uh, card, little trees, contrasting against the, uh, the light water. Bit of grass here below the fence, a little bit of scraping out with the fingernail. Adds a bit of texture in the grass, grassy areas. Framed on the right hand side by this big tree, again use the Use the finger now, suggest a few trunks and branches, and then there's a few rocks scraped out at the bottom with the uh, plastic card. Uh, path sweeps round to the right, going down to the, the lock at the bottom of the hill, and our little figure there walking his dog. Well, that'd be like that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. All the paintings about it with my base store if you'd like to get involved in the bidding and I'll see you again soon.